and now it's sunny outside. Welcome to Melbourne weather, everybody. Hi, how's it going? Um, welcome to, or welcome back. As you guys can tell by the title and based off the thumbnail, we are going to be looking at all the books that I have either brought or swapped. There's only one that I swapped. All the rest I have brought so far this year, which isn't a hell of a lot, which is like what? Only 19. That's not too bad. That's actually a lot better than what I was thinking. I think there is a few that I brought that I took back home. But anyway, let's just get into it. We're going to start with books that I brought from secondhand bookstores, like uh, that weren't brand new, like secondhand I either swapped them in the free street libraries that are around or I got them from like op shops, stuff like that. We'll start with one that you've already seen, um, which is What's Coming to Me by Francesca Padley. Padla? Padla? This book is a young adult fiction. I think it's a murder mystery. Basically, this woman, what's Min Minerva? She basically wants to kill her boss. She works at the local ice cream stand. Her boss is very sexist and basically she goes to her best friend and goes, I want to kill my boss. And I believe they do that. No. <laughs> it's nothing to do with that. Oh, someone tries to rob the ice cream stand and then it stirs up rumors about money hidden on the property. So Min teams up with her neighbor Cece to try and find the cash. not what I thought at all. Oh, so it's like a treasure hunting kind of video novel book. Yeah, it's so the only hardcover that I have here. I got this as, like I said, from the Free Street Library. You guys can watch the video. I'll put the time code in one of the corners. The card's up there if you want to watch that vlog where I get the book. But yeah, nothing. It's not what I remember. I was going to read this in a different video, in like a reading vlog. I apologize for the noise as well. They're doing works on a building near my building so and they're just they're not being quiet about it next we have grown by tiffany d jackson um, i believe this book follows our main character i can't remember her name Corey. and basically one day she wakes up and her husband i think is killed next to her oh no never mind it's not her husband it might be a one-night stand basically and her name's not Corey. Enchanted. Her name is Enchanted Jones. I don't like the name, but it's okay. So Enchanted wakes up and Corey is found dead next to her. She's got blood all over her hands and she needs to try and figure out who killed him. Interesting. Definitely along the vibes of the novels that I'm reading lately. Next we have A Spoonful of Murder by J.M. Hall. This is a different cover than what I've not seen around. It says Milk two sugars and a spoonful of murder on the front. This book is, I believe, set, yeah, retired school teachers. They all meet up once every couple of weeks, I think it is. Um, they run into one of their other colleagues, Topsy, um, and then the next day or the next week, Topsy is found dead. So it's a murder mystery, and they all are investigating to try and figure out if they can figure out who killed them. I feel like this was an arc. I asked some people in a couple of book Facebook groups that I'm in and just waiting replies from them to see if they know what the fuck's going on. Okay, it's very freaking cold. It's like four degrees and I don't like it. So I have like five layers on. That's not the point. I did message a couple of groups in the group chat and they all said it looks like an arc. So I have an arc, which is a first for me. It wasn't sent to me. I just found it. The op shop, Salvos, Goodwill. Yeah, that's that. Okay, next we have a series that I didn't even know existed. I came across it at my local op shop, the Salvo store, and the covers are so pretty. And the finish, like the feel of them, it's like that matte, so nice feel. So we have the Mackenzie Family series. There's only two in the series. It's a duology. Um, the first one is All That Really Matters by Nicole Desi. Dizzy? Desi. We're going to go with Desi. All That Really Matters called Desi which is about a social media influencer. She has to work on a makeover show for America's unprivileged youth. She is like a dream of hers. So she volunteers at a summer program for foster kids who are too old basically or classified as too old to be 
fostered if that makes sense like they're at the age where no one really wants to adopt and it follows molly she it also seems like a bit of a romance to molly and silas who is the director of the show that she's going on um makeup artist and fashion dree isn't my thing font is a little small but we make do oh there are text messages in here okay i'm all for it oh and it looks like it's dual point of view molly and silas yep dual, dual point of view and the next book in the series is all that it all that it takes um which follows val who i believe is mentioned or obviously will be mentioned in all that really matters I think she might be a friend or a sister. Val is a filmmaker. She's working on the set of a film. Then there's also Mike, who she is sharing an apartment with, which is her best friend's brother, I think. Yeah. So it's a romance book as well. I'm not feeling a whole heap of romances at the moment. So these are actually two of the books that I'm going to be taking back home because I'm just not feeling the romance. Yeah, I'm not feeling romance at the moment, but I do love the covers. The covers look amazing, and I think what mainly got my attention was because this one's still the filmmaker, and I'm like, hell yeah, this is what I want to do. Let's go for it. So that's why I got that one, and then this one was here as well, and I was like, stop it. It's a series. Might as well start from the start. So yes, there's those two from a series. Very interested in them, and they're just not interested in them at this very moment, which that's okay. We'll go with QBD and Dimmix books first. I got the book four and five in the Mortal Instruments series in the covers that I love. I love these covers. They're so pretty. Like, don't get me wrong, the other ones with the spines, how they make a picture. I love that, but I just love these covers a lot more. I can't get the stickers off. I tried, as you can see, and failed. So I got to get the hair dryer and peel them off that way. So yes, I got these. I got book four, which is City of Fallen Angels, and book five which is City of Lost Souls. Have I started this series? No. No, I have not. Do I plan to? At one point, yes. But at this point, no. Have I watched the movie? Yes. Have I watched some, basically almost all of the show? Yes. I'm up to season 4B. I just couldn't get back into it. I tried, I just couldn't. So we're giving up on that. This next one I got from Big W is one of the Addicted series books, which is Addicted for now. Don't know where it comes in the series. Don't know what order it is. Have I started the series? No. Probably should stop buying the books if I haven't started the series. I know it's about Lily and Lo. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, these next two I got from Dimmix. They were ten dollars. One is a romance, the other one is like a mystery. First one I got is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. I have no idea what it's about. I think it's a sad book. Hang on, let me let me just figure out. So it's a romance, it's fiction, it's a romance. Um, it is enemies to lovers I'm going to go with. It follows Ren and crew. Ren is top A student. She's a goody two shoes, teacher's pet, all of those good things, basically me. Um, and then you got crew who is the bad boy. So it's a good old bad boy, good girl romance, which I'm okay with that. I'm just the thickness of the book. I'm a bit concerned. 533 pages, a little concerned. But again, I'm not feeling romance, so this book is also going back home. Because just romance isn't doing it for me no more at the moment. The villa, Hoba is, and we are not complaining about that because we are loving it. Okay, I did own this book. I owned a small version of it. I then sold it because I was like, I'm not going to read it. I want to read it. And I got it at Dimmix because it was $10. Did I need it? Pff, no. Do you ever need the books? No. Book buying and reading are two different hobbies. They're two different. I don't care. Come at me. But that's how I see it. Book buying and reading. Separate hobbies. Not the same thing. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Now, I've heard it's a shit book. And yes, I get that. But like it's only 200 and a couple pages. I don't know what it follows. I do have Again Again by E. Lockhart as well. I haven't got Family of Lies, but I feel like I... Do you have to read Family of Lies before you read We Were, Li we Were Liars? I do not know. Um, it follows a family, I believe they're on holiday, and secrets are revealed. A group of four for, oh, it's friends. Friends, not family. Or is it f found for, I don't know. We're gonna start a new pile, cause she's lopsiding a bit. We'll go with the series that I've already done a video for, and it's probably already out. These next three books I got at Comic Con when I met the author. 
and I'm glad I went and I'm glad I found this author because I have found a series that I love. But we're going to start off with the standalone that I have. <laughs> and that is The Killing Code by Ali Marnie. This book, there's a reading vlog for it. It's in one of the corners, the code card thing. If you want to watch me read it, go for it. I love this book. I think I rated it four stars, but now that I'm thinking about it, it is more of a 3.5 star read. As I do think about it here and there, but I don't like, I'm not like obsessed, you know. I wouldn't go, go read it. But it follows Pit, no, Kit. Kit and a group of three girls, so four in total. You've got Kit, Daisy, we're gonna do it without reading. Kit, Daisy, Molly, no. She starts with an M, Marnie, Mo, Mo, Ma, we're gonna look. Moya and Violet. I knew I got Moya wrong all the time while editing. I remember having to refix it. And it follows the four girls. Dottie and Kit are roommates. And Dottie didn't come home. So Dottie goes to Moya, who is like the head of their section. And they go, they find her, but they also find her with a body. And all four girls basically are trying to figure out who the murderer is. And while this is all happening, it is set in 1943, which is when World War II is happening. And all four girls are the type of girls who are decoding, I think it's Japanese messages and stuff, like that are going in and out. Enemy messages, basically, and they're decoding these and trying to figure out what they say. This book is a good book. Highly recommend if you are wanting to start Ellie Marnie's books. I highly recommend starting this one if you want to. It's nothing too crazy, but it's like a murder mystery type book. Okay, next is. A duology. I am currently filming a reading vlog for it. I've started the second book. I'm over halfway. I'm doing a reading vlog for this series and I am loving this series. If you love Criminal Minds, highly recommend this, <laughs> this series. Highly. Can't say it enough. Which is the Nonshell Sleep series. Oh, we love this series. I love this series. First one, Nonshell, Nonshell Sleep came out in 2020 I believe. It follows Emma and Travis. They are both teenagers. They are recruited by the FBI Behavioral Unit, BAU. They are recruited by the FBI to interview teenage serial killers to basically find out why they do what they do, why they kill the people who they killed, why they are the way they are in a way. While this is all happening, there is a serial killer out there Killing Teenagers. I love this book. This book I read within two days. No, three days. I think it took me three days. It took me three days to finish this book. Because of this book, I started re-watching Criminal Minds again. Some shell break. This book, again, follows <laughs> Emma and Travis. But this time, it also follows Kristen Gunsman, who is, who you find out in this book, is Simon Gunsman's sister, twin sister. Simon killed Travis's father on the field, when they were out in the field. Yep, so there's the connection there. Three months after everything that happened in this book, new serial killer who is basically a copycat, but there is a few little differences from the Huxton. Huxton, Huxton, we're gonna go with Huxton. Huxton case. Um, you learn all about the Huxton case in the first book, so again, read that one. I'm not gonna try and spoil too much about it. But yeah, it's just three months after copycat and they're trying to figure out who the serial killer is. I'm loving this book so far. I'm only on page 220. I'm loving this series. It's one of my favorite series, I think it's going to be. Off Campus and then that series for the murder mystery, Off Campus for Romance. This is my Kmart stack here. These are books that I brought from Kmart. Did I need these? No, definitely not, but I got them anyway. First off, it's a book that I brought a few days ago. It's a second, Sarah J Maas, Crown of Midnight. Haven't read the first one, which is Throne of Glass. Yeah, Throne of Glass, and then there's Assassin's, the Assassin's Blade, which I actually own that one too. I own this whole series, except for Kingdom of Ash, I think. I own all of them, but the original covers. No idea what it's about. I know it's fantasy, but that's about it. I'm behind, I know. I bought this book today, actually, which is Tessa Bailey, My Killer Vacation. First book from Tessa Bailey, by Tessa Bailey that I read was Window Shopping, and I just didn't like it. It was a novella. Like, it's a very short book, and I think that could have been why I didn't like it, because it's so short. But this one's also pretty short. I'm very cautious, because I've read another book from this author, and I did not like it. I brought this one because I plan on going away soon for a little vacay myself, and I thought, why not bring this little guy with me? It follows this woman. I can't remember her name. Why would I remember her name? I'm not going to lie to you. 
no flippant clue, but it's romance and it's fiction. I have no idea who this guy is though. I don't know his name. They're in Cape Cod. I have no idea. Cape Cod's some like in America, right? Miles and Taylor. Miles, Taylor. There you go. This woman goes with her brother to a holiday and there's a body in the place that they're staying. And I think he might be a cop. Plan on reading this book when I go away. Exciting to read it and very excited to give Tessa Bailey another go. I do want to read her It Happened One Summer series. I have the second one in that series. I don't have the first one. But I'm very excited and interested. I really want to give her another go and I really want it to do so well. If it doesn't, I might read that It Happened One Summer series and if I just don't, then I'm sorry, Tessa Brothers, not my favorite book. Next, I have a book, and it's like a murder mystery type book. It is a Karen Slaughter book, which I've heard she is a very good author when it comes to thriller, crime, story novels, which I'm excited to give her a go. I have False Witness. So one of the sisters is a lawyer. She's got a new client who actually knows the truth about what happened that Leah and Kelly did. Just because you didn't see the witness doesn't mean he wasn't there. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Oh, oh my god, the font is so small. Look how tiny. Like, she's she's a tiny. I'm very interested in this book, but the font is turning me off it now. But very interested. We shall give her a go. Next, I have a Disney book, which I believe is the second, based on the second movie, Maleficent movie. Um, it is Heart of the Moors. Holly Black. I believe this book is basically just the, that movie in book form. I think. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. And the font is a decent size. I feel like this is a young adult book actually. Yeah, it's scholastic. So it's young adult. We are, we'll give it a go at one point. I don't know when and I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I tend to do this a lot. Kmart has books on clearance because it's the end of financial year here in Australia. So everyone's clearing out their stock, getting rid of whatever's not selling. All of that fun stuff. This is the one that goes in between the first and the second. This is like the little 1.5. Chloe Gong. We'll admit, the covers look amazing. Last Violent Call by Chloe Gong. Have not read. What even is the first one? These Violent Delights. Haven't even read that. But it's such a small book. And the covers, I will admit, all the covers for this series looks amazing. I just, I want to read it. I just haven't. So, yeah, I don't know what it's about. Because I don't even know what the first one's about. Oh no. Oh no. This is a very, 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 very very viral book going around at the moment on all things book related on booktube book talk bookstagram this is a thick boy the second book in this series comes out november i think yeah i think it comes out november i'll probably be getting it and i probably will love this book i just i haven't had the time to everyone raves about this book and i am excited but also nervous because there is a bit of romance in there and I'm just not feeling romance novels at all at the moment. Thriller and mystery are what's doing it for me. I have Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Everyone raves about this book. Everyone who's anyone has either read it or is going to be reading it. I only got it because it's the first time I saw it in Kmart. I was going to buy it at Dimmix, but Dimmix, as a lot of people know, is very expensive. So I like to get a lot of my books secondhand or from Big W and Kmart because they are so much cheaper. And your girl is living off a uni fund. She don't have a lot of money. It's also fantasy with a bit of, yeah, fantasy romance is classified. I want to read it so bad, but I'm just not feeling romance. And I'm so scared that if I read it, me not feeling the romance and wanting romance is going to ruin my experience of this book. I'm sure if you haven't heard of it, what are you doing? You're living under a rock. But it's basically dragons and romance and they're like in college, I think. It's like a fantasy. There's dragons. I know that. And the romance. That's all I know. So yes, fourth wing. I will read it at some point. No flipping clue when I'm going to do that. But I will. Promise you. I'll read it at some point. So then my books. Did I need them? No. Well, I'm glad I got this series here. I'm obsessed with that series at this moment. I love it so much. Yeah. They're the, what, 13 books? 19 books that I have brought halfway through the year. That's actually pretty good for me. 14 books in six months. I'm very excited to read quite a few of them, honestly. Looking forward to it. I can't wait to actually read them. It just comes down to time and everything. That is my wonderful book haul. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you've read any of these books or are very interested in these books and want a reading vlog or something, I don't know, let me know in the comments. But yeah, no, that's all I've got for you today. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.